Hey guys, it's all getting pretty exciting. This is like the night before the trip. This is the night that you don't sleep. And I think I've got everything ready. Uh, I've gone and like pinched all the tools uh, out of my toolbox at work um, and packed them in the car. Uh, basically everything I think I'm going to need to fix Charlie's car when he breaks it uh, next weekend when we do a, we're doing a Y62 event um, over in Perth. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow we leave. Charlie and I are coming over together. A um, bit of a, a convoy. And so I've left work early, come home to like pack everything. But I realised I left my keys at work and uh, I'm locked out of the house. So I can't amalgamate my tools from the garage with the tools from Eddie. Uh, so I thought I'd do a video and start it off. Um, I'll show you what the setup's looking like because there is one more mod, because there's always more mods that get bolted to your rig just before a trip. And I'll show you the one that got bolted on today. Can you see it? It's harding. That's it up there. Guess what it is? Let me show you. All right. So we pull this lever out that way. A bit hard to do with one hand. Here's a bit of an idea. Dunham Watson, what it is. All right. It is a slide out solar panel. 100 watt slide out solar panel. It's come out a bit further, but I'm in between the tailgate of my car, but it does come out so there's no shadows. Pretty chuffed with that. So as it pulls out, um, I've got a little extension cable, um, plugs in here and we'll plug in down there. Pretty chuffed about that. So now there's a hundred watts of solar that can slide out. There's three 30 watts on, top on my car, which goes through DC to DC charger, charging that um, DCS battery. And then I don't really need it, but I'm gonna take it anyway. I've got another 200 watt um, sandwich panel. Well, we're here. All right. Um, this is the setup in the back of the pod, so I can stay relatively organised. And every time I show my pre-trip preparation, everyone goes, "Haven't got enough booze." Anyway, so there's pubs along the way. So I've got some beer, got some uh, um, Jim Bean Double Blacks, a bit of Bailey's if it gets cold, and I'm getting onto this stuff. Usually I drink the rhubarb one, but I'm, they didn't have it, so I'm doing the original tonight. One block of ice, and that's all you need. But yeah, I'm into these little containers. So I've bought a stack of them. So <laughs> right at the front's fire extinguisher, pantry, uh, cleaning gear for the show, um, some promo stuff, um, and then like chairs in the middle. Um, over the other side, that little gray thing. And I'm, throughout the trip, I'm gonna be vlogging all the way kind of thing. So I'm gonna show you how all of this works um, as I'm going through it all. Uh, all the cooking stuff is underneath here in another one of those little boxes. Um, this is my um, cutlery drawer, basically, or dilly bag as it's labelled. So everything's in here. Cutting boards. I'll zoom out a bit. Cutting boards, um, you know, plates, all my utensils, bowls, salt and pepper, um, you know, washing up stuff. So that it all fits in there nice. And when I need it, I can just basically do it. This one's easier, just go this way. Get into it, all stays dust free. When I want to put it away, do that. I got it from Total Tools, um, but that's pretty clean on that one. And then the stuff that I get to rarely, there's a table, who knows what that box is. Oh, this is canvas. So for the dark sheet awning, that's all the walls canvas, um, wall canvas up the back there for, the 23-0 drop-down tent, um, the bit that goes underneath the tent. Um, then the car is basically just going to have, and it's not set up now because I'm locked out the house, I can't put my tubs in, but that's where all my tools are going to sit on the left and then recovery gear up the top. Um, and the way I'm going to do it, this is going to be my fridge for the trip. Um, a few more little coldies in there. Um, and everything else pretty much is going to stay on freeze. So this 50 litre back here, move the beer out of the way, this will all stay on freeze. Um, and it's a little bit of a fridge on that side as well. But that's all my food for the next week. The plan is to go away without any gas. Um, I'm going to uh, use induction cooking basically and this massive 
200 amp hour DCS battery with um, the Victron 3 kilowatt inverter. Just did a bit of a test and yeah, I can boil a kettle. So it knocked about 5% out of the battery to boil one liter of water. So that's all I need to wash dishes or, or whatever. Um, I'm even gonna see if I can have, like heat up enough water and like to recirculate and have a, a shower. I've got like a pump that goes in a bucket. Um, but yeah, basically tomorrow night we'll be in Sejuna. Uh, then we'll be crossing the border um, and uh, Ronnie, Ronnie Dahl and Bo from um, Outback Cleanups told me like a cheat track that's going to save me two hours if I go through the dirt on the way to Perth. So we'll see what that, that ends up like. But uh, yeah, now we'll cut over to tomorrow where uh, Charlie's going to rock up with his camper in tow and the excitement's going to be 11 out of 10. So just wanted to give you the shout up while I wait for someone to bring me some keys. Right, the last thing I'll do, I'm waiting for my parents to drop some keys so I can open my house. I had a look at my air filter. It's not that bad, but it's not that good either. So I always carry a spare on this sort of trip, doing three, almost 3,000 Ks. So I think it's worthwhile. I'm gonna put a brand spanker in for on-road. And when I get to that dirt um, track or if I'm just gonna do four driving for the day, I'm gonna put the old one back in. And then when I get back on the highway, I'll put the new one back in again. Cause, um, I don't know, they're 80 bucks or something. For the sake of 80 bucks over nearly 3,000 Ks, I'm sure if it breathes better, there'll be some sort of like a, a fuel saver or power bonus, one of the two. Depends how you look at it. All right, this is it. Excitement is now 12 out of 10. Any minute, Charlie's gonna bowl down the street here. And it's really exciting. It's like, I haven't actually ever done two and a half weeks without my family before. Um, yeah, that's gonna be like kind of weird. Um, anyway, I'm excited. I'm actually looking forward to a bit of solo time. Life's been pretty um, crazy uh, the last year. Um, so to just look at the lines for the next three days, um, I'm, that's gonna be good. And I'm hoping that nothing, like every time we set out on one of these trips, it always starts well and then some border closes or something breaks or something happens so who knows what's going to happen but i'm going to vlog the the next few weeks and um <laughs> bring you along for the journey oh. <laughs> look who's arriving now it's getting real now it's getting real i could hear him coming like two streets away i reckon all right hello Hey, you ready? I'm ready to go. Excitement level is 150 out of 100. <laughs> I said 12 out of 10, so you're, you're in front of me. Yeah. All right. How many drive shafts did you bring? Uh, three. <laughs> Fronts or rears? Rears. Three rears? Yep. Okay, that's ambitious. I've got one front. So between us, we can break one each. Okay. <laughs> Done. Bring anything besides meat? Yeah, meat. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. The, other, the other meat. Um, all right, well, we're all ready to go. Just like start and go. That's it, let's hit the road. Channel VK56. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's my line. All right, she's real now. now this will be an adventure. I'm putting, I'm actually using the Nissan GPS. Perth, town centre, go, enter a street name. I don't know, Australia, country. Here we go, destination set to Perth. Oh, better go on a straight line. Okay, start. 2,645 kilometres. Arrival, 8.25 a.m. <laughs> In a few days. Let's go. So at that time that we need to uh, get the travel buddies going, pies have just been thrown in. And for anyone that doesn't know South Australia, look, we found the Loch Ness Monster. Can I zoom in? No, I can't. I'll turn it around so you can see. Is Lockie, that Lockie, famous 
Loch Ness Monster.
feeling optimistic. Just about to go into this next town, Puchura. Um, this was my like cut off town. Like this was, you know, get fuel here or like, probably calculating wise, we're probably going to run out of here. Still like at the top of the O. I got heaps more. So I guess you know the one saving grace. There's heaps of road work, so I'm kind of limited to that speed, so that is helping me out a bit. It's kind of getting a bit lowish now. Still kind of at the top of the zero. 138 k's to go. Sort of like somewhere in between nervous and ambitious. There's a hint that this is going to happen. Before, I, you know, I was pitching it, thinking of making a video, but I thought, no way is this going to happen. It might happen. Oh, so, what's your guess? Sharon, she doesn't watch my videos, but she'll be saying this. Uh oh, I lost steering. <laughs> I'm out. She'll be, David, seriously? How old are you? Well, Charlie and Sharon was right. Hashtag don't do what Dave did. But I swear, like the needle stopped moving. I've had it lower than that before. I think I, it stopped between the red and the zero and just didn't do anything. I've had it below that before. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Right boys and girls, don't do this because you get down to the sludgy bit at the bottom of your tank, especially if you're But uh, yeah, again, don't do what Dave does. said this before like I test things on my vehicle so you guys know what not to do and this is another one of those occurrences so I just put my 20 litre jerry in let's see if it starts they start all right we're in business I'm very happy about that and the fuel gauge hasn't even moved it's done nothing I think that needle's stuck because I've had that halfway down through the zero before. All right. Charlie didn't win because he got the kilometers wrong, but he won more than I won. Anyway, we're going to go find some fuel with 144 k's to go. For the record, you can do 593 kilometers in a Y62 with a pod camper on the back. And that's it.
question whether I was even going to include this next bit in the video. Uh, so we went to um, on a little tiny little town dot in the middle of nowhere and filled up with, well, I didn't fill up, I bought 50 litres of fuel in. I thought that's more than enough to get me to Sejuna now. Um, but of course I only had 91. Um, so I put 50 litres in for when I get to Sejuna, I'll top it up. Done this sort of stuff before, no worries. Uh, been all over Australia, and you know, when I can't get 98, I just put 91 in, and it's been fine. Anyway, car went into limp mode uh, on the way up the hill. Loss of power, put your foot on the pedal, nothing happens. Like, and it was like just after we filled up, like less than five kilometres after we filled up. made it, limped it into camp, and uh, it's hot as anything here, there's flies everywhere, but we're here, camp night one, uh, travel buddies cooking dinner, we're doing uh, pork ribs tonight, and that's going to be the end of this one, and we'll see what happens tomorrow, but I can tell you one thing, we're not playing the how long will the fuel last game ever again, uh, it was fun until it wasn't fun anymore, so... This is out for this one, and we'll see you next time on YouTube. Yeah, yeah.